everybody, it's Suspensem or Ballistic bringing you Call of Duty DLC thoughts for the Havoc DLC that recently came out. Uh, it's a little late, I mean, yeah, I mean, also it's gonna be late considering most people play this on Xbox and I played on PlayStation 4 and then it's a week after it came out. So, I mean, I get it, whatever, but I just like to get these thoughts out and I like to do these videos because they're fun. They're fun for me because I do like Call of Duty is... It's getting kind of loose on me anyway because it's apparently going to go to World War II, so yeah, I'll probably do thoughts on that in a bit. So we're talking about the four maps and the gun because we're not going to be talking about zombies. I did not play zombies because, to be honest, I don't care that much. Like, I have other things to play, so I would I just play the multiplayer and I'm like, let's that's enough for me. Like, I'll play like a couple hours a day and be like, that's cool, that's fine, that's all I need. And we're going to do it like how we usually do. We're going to do an order of my favorite to least favorite. Uh, which is kind of hard with this one because I kind of have like a tie with several so we're, let's just get into this favorite is drift drift is awesome has I don't know, it just has a nice feel to it there's a certain area in the middle with uh, the carousel and stuff it just feels good in that area there are several areas you can control where you still feel like you have the power position but you can you can get screwed pretty easily but it still feels like it because it's constant movement in that map and it's it's all it's all cool and stuff. There are sniper positions. There's like close quarter areas for shotguns. There's like of course medium range, which is like every place you can go anyway. And it just, it's just a all around well designed map. Like the sides are are for the snipers basically, and the arguably the middle tower is. And uh, I mean I've only played on team deathmatch because the way they set up the DLC stuff for this game is kind of shit. So I've only played uh, TDM, but I would assume that the Dom flag would be like near the carousel, which I think would make for a really fun like, because the carousel itself, if you put a sentry on the on the carousel, it's fucking awesome, because it just would be like go around everywhere, awesome, just a great. Uh, the carousel itself, I love it because I can just hide on top, and this is gonna sound like a newbie thing, but I just hide on top, shoot everybody when I see them. It's chill until someone comes behind behind you, unless you have like, your whole team up there. I have done that. That is a fun fucking experience. Uh, other than that, there's the avalanche that happens. Having it doesn't really affect the game that much for me because I, I would. I, if there's one thing I don't like about the map is the area where the avalanche happens. So I rarely go up there. I'm usually in the middle area in the building with. Uh, I think it's just a bar, I guess. And I'm usually just chilling in there. You get so many kills in there because nobody, no, nobody can see me in the area I'm in. I always wait for people to walk in the door. It might be camping, but at the same time, it's whatever. Um, yeah, so the avalanche happens. It's really not that big a deal. I mean, it does change. I will go back over there when the avalanche happens. Let's just say that. I like it a lot more. Now we have my next map, which I would say is Sideshow. Sideshow is, is an aesthetically pleasing map. It's not like... Because every other map on this map pack, I think, is kind of bland, to be honest. Like, it doesn't look pleasing. Sideshow is colorful. It's nice. And, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's just a very like I'm looking at it right now. Like the colors, there's like yellow, blue, and it's all light blue and stuff. The only area that's not well colored is the area that kind of looks like the the Wild West, where it's like cowboys and shit. But uh, other than that, like the whole actual like clown sideshow part is really good and colorful, and it's definitely fun to play. The only thing I don't like about it, again, I'll say this, is the part that looks like the western, for like, gameplay wise, like not even the aesthetic of it. It's just not very. It doesn't flow very well. If it was just the two buildings and then like the middle area, I feel like that would be a lot better. If they added a third building, maybe it would be better if they, if for that, if they didn't have the cowboy area, because uh, the flow of it would is just really off with that. But other than that, it's a well flowing map. Uh, the only another problem I have, for some reason, if you can, you'll see it eventually. If I ever go on top of one of the main buildings, like the two yellow buildings, they have the like the. Oh, what's it called? The, the wooden bars, basically. That's what I'll call them. And they you can't shoot through those for some reason. I mean, I think you could shoot through wood like that. Because it's not very... It, you'd, like, demolish that wood. But everyone's super defensive against that. And I'm like, no, that's a little unfair. That's a little cheap. So th that's really my only complaint with that. But... Um... I mean, okay, the problem I have with it, kind of, again, is the spawns are a little off. Uh, I've spawned where someone can see me many a time, which is kind of annoying, but it's just, it's whatever, it's Call of Duty at this point, you gotta deal with that, like, it's happened in the past four Call of Duty's with the spawns suck. Uh, the thing that happens on this map is, 
the clown will shoot up bombs. I don't know if you see that in this gameplay, by the way, because it's not my gameplay. I should say that too, by the way, because I get my friends to get, give me gameplay. Uh, they shoot up the clown thing shoots up bombs that you can throw. That's actually really useful. I don't. I, I didn't think it would be. I was like, stupid. What a gimmick. If you if you know how to throw that shit, you, it's insta kill, hundred percent. Because the area it kills is amazing. I got like a triple one time, and I was like, thumbs up. Call of Duty, you did good here. And it's, it's just, it's also another aesthetically pleasing thing on the map. Because you throw it and it lobs like the gas that looks like a rainbow. It's awesome. Uh, that's just really cool to me. And this is where it becomes kind of like the tie area. Because I don't know which one I like more. Uh, so I'll just say Urban first. Urban is my third favorite. I'll say that right now. Urban is like, I would almost say the nuketown of this of this game. It's I think it's even tinier, arguably, than nuketown. So, as you can tell from that, it's obviously a high action map. However, if you know where you're going, it's it's less frantic and more just like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. So, for example, there are two side areas. If you're going to go to one, you don't want to go to the one with the, the raised platform. You should go to the one that has the purple area in front of it. You're probably going to see that. But... It's just so good. Also, there are, if you go to the back area and you go onto the sidebars, you can easily get a bunch of kills there because people are coming like crazy. Uh, the, the only thing I hate about this map is A, it's size because I fucking hate small maps. And uh, B, it, the people that play it fuck it up because if you go too far, you're going to screw the spawns up and they're going to start spawning behind you. Just fucking stay halfway through the map and then relax. You don't have to go pushing into the spawn to kill everybody. This map, uh, it, it's, it's gray too. I'm trying to give reason why it's not one of my favorites. Uh, it, it's not, it doesn't look very good. It's pretty bland. It even has like one of that Modern Warfare 3 looks where it kind of looks hazy too. Like all the, it looks gassy in front of you for some reason. Yeah, not really like my thing, but it's okay. I, I won't say I hate it. I don't hate any of the maps in this map pack, but I just, I don't like some of them. I like Urban a little bit more than the other one. So let's jump into that one, I guess. Core is, uh... It's not picked very frequently either, but uh, let's talk about the aesthetic first of all. It's all like really, it's because it's in a desert. It's gonna be really like sandy colors and shit. It does not look very good at all. Like it reminds me of playing Modern Warfare Three, and I don't, I didn't, I did not like how Modern Warfare Three looked. So there's that, and the fact that the action is never, I well at least for me. Because there's certain things I, I like in a game where I can anticipate where things are going to happen. But on this map where you think shit's going to happen, it does not happen. Like, A, it's too big, I almost think. I would almost say it's too big. But, and then 2, two is like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> the flow in the spawns, like, the map is so big that people don't spawn anywhere. So if you're chilling out in an area, they're not going to spawn in the place you think they are. They're going to be like, oh, I'm going to spawn in a totally different area. Because guess what? I can't because the map is so big. I can't even say there's a clusterfuck on this map ever. Sideshow, there can be a clusterfuck. Drift, there can be a clusterfuck. Urban, there can definitely be a clusterfuck. Core, I feel like you run into person like every one, once every five minutes. That's how it feels for me. So whenever this map is picked, I'm always like, no, I'm not, not gonna pick you. Yeah, core isn't core's not very good. So anyway, that's all the maps in uh, in uh, the, the Havoc DLC. Map pack. I, I'm looking forward to another one. I mean, this one was good. I'm seeing because in in Ghost, Ghost had pretty good map packs. Uh, Advanced Warfare. I mean, if they keep this up, I'd be okay with it. Like, I one map out of four is is like a one map being bad out of four is okay. But uh, that like I they, I feel like they can't continue that though because they need to up their game. They need to make the things that happen in the game cooler because. Uh, Although the avalanche, I guess I'll give it to them. Like it's a good idea, but I think it should have been it should have been more effective. But uh, the the eight. Now let's talk about the A4 for a little bit. It's a uh, it's another laser, gun, and they're releasing another LMG slash SMG one, which is really weird to me. But the A4 is like I think they should make super cool guns for DLC. Like they shouldn't be normal because this one's the only difference is that it's a laser gun, which I mean, whatever. It's a laser gun. It's basically just an, a rifle you don't have to reload. So I think that's meh. I think they should make these crazy. I think they should be like, shoot discs. Like that kind of shit. Like shoot like a saw blade. I, that would be really fucking cool to me because 
that would be a totally different thing. No, you don't see that ever in the fucking Call of Duty franchise. So, like, having a gun that does something crazy would be really cool. Not something that just shoots lasers. Like, that's a really quick thoughts on that. It's an average gun. Like, there's nothing to it. So, anyway, guys, that's all I'm going to be doing for this thoughts video. I will see you guys in the future for our next pre-thoughts on the next DLC or the next general Call of Duty Advanced Warfare thoughts because I, I don't really know if it's worth it right now. I haven't really changed my thoughts. There's, it's still a fucking fun game, which is uh, more than I can say for a lot of other Call of Duties this time of the year. But uh, until, unless some next-gen Call of Duty news comes out, then I'll do pre-thoughts on that. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.